Hello everyone, it's the first Sunday in May and of course time for a brand new prompt of the month in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. Now of course my last two videos I shared a haul that I got from Budapest um, and I bought quite, uh, several different postage stamps um, and I also shared an, an idea using those last week as well but I received a couple of comments in both of those videos from people requesting more ideas using postage stamps so I thought this would be a great prompt for us in the Facebook group. Um, so if any of you want to follow along with this prompt, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group in the description box below. Come and share your ideas, you know, do come along and join us. Now, let me show you what I've got here. I've got um, various types of postage stamps here and they're from all over the place. Um, these ones are bird themed. I've got these ones here from Czechoslovakia. I absolutely love these. I think these um, are just absolutely Absolutely wonderful. These were just 50 pence. There's 25 stamps in here. This was just something that I picked up from um, a charity shop. I've got some butterfly ones, some floral ones, um, some mixed ones here, and then some old vintage um, English postage stamps. I've got a whole bag here of UK stamps, um, and these are just absolutely all sorts. Um, but I thought, you know, if I'm struggling for fillers, I might find some bits and pieces in here so I've got those if I need them. I've also got this pack of rub-ons um, which I bought from Amazon. Um, let me just show you just to give you some ideas because I know that not everybody is going to have postage stamps at their fingertips and don't forget as well that you could make your own faux postage stamps um, so there are many many different ways you could interpret this prompt but I think these um, are fun I like these and um, here we go we've got some um, some of these as well so I've got quite a few things um, that I can use at my fingertips now for my first project I want to do something with this letter card here I absolutely love the front um, of this but the writing on the back is upside down and you know it's not particularly inspiring although this was written in 1952 so what I thought was that I could decorate the back of this letter card here and it will make a really nice piece of ephemera for inside my journal now to give you some ideas because obviously you know you're not going to have one of these you could decorate um, an old vintage postcard um, um, especially if it's got if it's written um, already I think that would be really fun because some of them you know the images on the front are just a bit plain or just a bit boring I mean I do like this um, this is just one that again that I've picked up from a charity shop I've got lots of vintage um, postcards in my stash but you know you could um, do some kind of a design on the front of something like this if you wanted to or you know something that you're not particularly keen on so I've chosen all of the um, vintage UK postage stamps here in UK can see that I've laid them all out because what I want to do is just work out how many of these stamps I can fit um, onto the front of this card and I just want to try and be as random as I can um, about it so let's just see how many we can um, fit across don't overthink it Nina don't overthink the colors just try and be um, be random I think I can fit six if I squish these along a little bit yep you see six will go across and let's see how many um, will fit um, downwards three I'm going to have to bring that down a bit I don't mind um, a bit of the writing showing around the edge and um, in between but I think that will make a really fun piece of ephemera so I'm just going to choose a few more and then I'm just going to um, stick these down now I'm just using a glue stick to glue my postage stamps down and I'm just doing it um, a bit at a time because otherwise it's just going to dry too quickly. Um, the first line was the hardest to get in place but now this will be plain sailing for the rest. So my stamps are now glued down and I think that's turned that into a fabulous piece of ephemera that I can put into a tuck spot or pocket um, in my journal. 
Now for my next idea, I want to use some of these rub-ons here. Um, I absolutely love adding rub-ons to fabric. So I've got myself some burlap and I'm also going to be using this pack of sticky note notes. Now this is from the Your Creative Studio Vintage Ephemera Box. I haven't shared the unboxing yet, so I'm ahead of myself. It's just that as soon as I saw these two stamps here, this was right in front of me. I'm only part way through the unboxing video, so I'm ahead of my game here, but I've just got to use one of these. I've also got one of the um, envelopes that um, some of the stamps came in from Your Creative Studio. And so what I think I'm going to do Let's see if I can peel one of these off without um, tearing it. I am going to stick one of these down on my envelope here and I'm going to cut a piece of fabric. Now, how wide do I need this to be? Now, I should have brought some of my fabric scissors up with me. I'm in a different room recording. Um, it's, I'm in our upstairs study and it's much brighter in here and I've got a much bigger wider desk so now that Steve is back in the office and not working from home quite so much I've decided I'm going to take advantage and use this room now I need to cut this down this is is just too big so let me just keep going and then I will fray the edges as well of course I do need to bear in mind as well how much room I need for my postage stamp so let's have a look I think this um this should be okay so I'm just going to cut these two out just so that I can burnish these these on so I'll just carefully fussy cut these and if you can hear snuffling and the occasional bark in the background Alex has just dropped um Toby off so they're off to a birthday party tonight um, for Danny's nephew and so they've dropped Toby off with me and so he's uh, working with me and I hope he's going to behave himself so I think this should be about the right size so yeah that will do so what I'll do now is fray around the edges let me just move that out of the way so that you can see what um, I'm doing and I'm going to fray fray first just so that I can cut it down if I if I need to I love the look of the frayed, frayed edges. Yeah, looks as if I've got this um, relatively straight. Let me bring back my envelope. I'll glue this down properly um, in a second. I think that's going to be about the right size. I can always cut it down a bit more um, if I if I need to. So I can stick these down like this. Let me just bring the camera a bit closer. Now these have got a backing on and you need to take the backing off. So that's the first one. I'll do the same with the second as well. Let me just try and position this first. I think I think about there. I can always trim trim this down um, a little bit more to fit um, if I if I need to. And I'm just going to try and get the backing off this one here as well. Here we are, that um, wasn't too, too tricky. So we'll centralize this one. I think that's about right. And then I just need to burnish these down. So I'm just using a pair of scissors to do this. You could use a bone folder, a popsicle stick, whatever you like. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. Yep, you see it's coming, it's nearly there. You've got to press quite, um, whoops, You've got to press quite hard. And here we are now, we should be able to peel this off and just reveal the fabulous image underneath. And I just think that looks um, so cool. I think I want to move this one up slightly and have it closer and then I'll trim, trim my fabric accordingly. Let's move that one over. You see, you've got plenty of room to just position it where, where you want it. Yeah, I think that will be about right. And then I'll do the same again. And then we can just peel the plastic off this one as well. Just make sure that's definitely stuck down. And then I'm just going to trim, trim this because it's, um, it's too big and and fray. 
man, how cool does that look? And let's bring back my piece. And I just think that makes the perfect embellishment for that little um, envelope. Now, before I glue anything down, I'm improvising with the materials that I've actually got whilst I'm upstairs. Because I've got Toby here, I don't want to keep walking up and down to my craft room. I'm just going to draw um, a line across the top of this envelope and then I'm just going to cut that off. If I don't draw a line, I'll never get it um, straight and that will bug me. And then I've also um, got my hole punch. In fact, I brought two up with me. Which one do I want to use? I just want to make myself a little lip at the top of this envelope. Let me try and centralise it. That would do. So there we go. Now, before I stick this down, I just want to ink around the edges. I'm going to use walnut stain for that because I don't think frayed burlap would, would show up very well. Just want it to stand out slightly on my background. And then I'm just going to stick that down to my envelope. I'm just going to use a glue stick to do to do that. There we go. That will do. That will do fine. Grab my glue stick. And what I love about using glue sticks for this kind of thing is that you don't end up with any buckling. It's quick. It's easy, and no buckling. So you know, win, win, win. And let me just try and centralise this. Stand up to do it. About there. That's um. That's good, good for me. Let's pop that down. And then I've got some of my um, Clol glue and I'm just going to glue that down there as well. Now, how shall I do this? I think what I'll do is add a tiny bit to the, to the back where the postage stamps are because I don't want it to th uh, show through the fabric. Come on, out you come. I can't believe how well behaved Toby's being. What a relief. Alex turned up about two hours earlier than I was expecting him. So, <laughs> and let's try and add a really thin layer here as well. I don't want to. Oh, here you go. You can hear him now. Okay. You can have some fuss in a minute. I have brought some toys and a blanket up for him. But, you know, he loves attention. So just stick stick that on and again i just think that's another lovely piece of ephemera and of course now i've got a pocket that i can actually pop something inside and that will go inside my your creative studio journal do you want to meet him here he is say hello toby say hello to everybody isn't he just gorgeous come here give him my gorgeous boy hey beautiful aren't you gorgeous you've been so good so I'll be putting that off to one side with my Your Creative Studio um, ephemera and when I get round to doing part two of my video then I can make something else to fit inside that pocket but um, that is ephemera piece number two. Now I also brought up with me some of this thinner burlap ribbon. Um, this one here is from a company called Bertie's Bows and I'll leave the link to this company in the description box below. This wider one that I use used um, is Eleganza Natural Linen. Um, I think you can get this online as well. You know, you get masses of it. I've had mine for years and in fact it's starting to get in a bit of a, a mess now but I just love using this stuff. So let's see um, what we can do with this. Of course we've got lots of um, smaller postage stamps on this rub-on rub -on set. What do I want to use? You see, some of these might be quite fun. And this um, thinner ribbon here is the perfect size. Let's um, cut out maybe these four here. I don't know whether I'll use them all, um, but they're all about the right size. I love the colours of these as well. So maybe we could have um, one larger one and one smaller one. Toby is now chewing on his rope bone. Let me just trim these off neatly. Cut away some of the plastic as well, just so that um, I've got more awareness of the size of it. And let's just make sure I'm putting this the right way up. I think it's, um, it's that way around. So I'm just going to stick um, that on, grab my scissors. Oops, 
and just burnish this on. So I think I want two on this, um, one above the, the other. Yep, that's cool. So I'm just going to burnish these, these down. And then we can just peel um, these off. I've already done the um, top one. Oh, just make sure that that's stuck and then they come off really easily. Just go over gently with your scissors or bone folder, whatever you're using, just to make sure that they are firmly attached. And then, of course, I can trim then. Where do I want that to go? A bit further down, I think. I can always trim it more. Better to um, leave yourself more than, than you need. And I just think those are so cool. Just really nice little um, toppers to use as embellishments in, in collage. Can you hear Toby chewing his bone? We've got um, one of these rope bones with a piece of plastic on it. So that's what the noise is. He loves the plastic more than the rope. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So that's idea number three. And as I've said, um, I think these would be ideal for adding to other collage elements. And I may find an idea for this coming up shortly. Idea number four is to make um, a collage masterboard using postage stamps. I made one a couple of years ago and I made some ephemera packs using postage stamps. So this was the cover that I made and I photocopied it. I scanned it and photocopied it. I had originally um, glued these stamps down to craft cards stock but I also photocopied it onto white as well just so that I could use these in other projects. Now just a word of warning you would not be able to photocopy these and use them to sell um, but you could use these for your own personal use which is what I'm doing here um, and all I had done was cut this out and made it into a postage stamp um, ephemera holder so that was one idea but now that I've got these photocopy images I'm just wondering whether I can cut um, a small piece of this down and make it into a tag. I've cut a few pieces from that um, sheet. We've got this little card here. This is what these look like. I've used the white one. So this one clearly is going to be turned into a bookmark. And what I was thinking was that I could add some um, book paper on the back of this maybe this one this one here I don't know this one is nice isn't it so maybe I could add a piece of uh, this I like this side I wish I could remember who sent me this um, coffee stained paper but I'm just going to glue a piece of this down on the back so that's what that looks like on the back I'm just going to use this again as a bone folder, just because this is what I've got on hand. And I'm just going to ink around the edges. Then for this one here, I want to turn it into a tag. So I've cut myself a piece of craft cardstock, um, slightly larger than um, the piece that I cut out and taller as well, because I want to turn this into a tag shape. What I will do is glue this down first, and I'm just going to use art glitter glue to do that. And um, what I will do is ink around the edges again just to get rid of any um, white sides that might be showing. Let's do, do this and then add some um, art glitter glue just because this will be nice and quick and um, easy just on the edges really quick. And maybe we can add a bit in the middle as well, just to help it glue down. You can see I'm using very, very little glue. And let's stick this on. Now I want um, an even amount on the bottom and the two, two sides. So that will do, do fine. Again, let me just um, use this just to burnish, burnish it down. And then I can cut my tag, tag shape. And you know how it goes with me. I cut the one corner and then take this over to the other side so that everything is completely um, symmetrical. So I've got my crocodile. I'm just going to add a hole, try and centralise it as best as I can. There we go. And whilst I've got this in my hand, I'm going to do the same on my bookmark as well. And then I've got some um, eyelets. What have I done with those? Here they are. Let's wrap 
these eyelets and, um, and choose a couple that um, I think will work well. These little brass coloured ones will be will be fine. So let's poke these through and punch these. This will just finish um, the project off nicely. Use this. This is a crop, crop, C-R-O-P, crocodile, not crocodile. I know some of you think that um, I'm saying crocodile every time I mention this and it's by We Are Memory Keepers. So that's fabulous. And then we can poke this one through here as well. And that's another couple of pieces of gorgeous um, ephemera. Let's just squeeze that shut too, not too tight. Um, need to go a bit tighter than that though. Just need to make sure that um, your project is, is flat on the back. And then I need to find some kind of fibres um, just to use to decorate those. And then for this one, um, all I'm going to do is use some frayed burlap this time. Let me just move that out of the way. And I'm going to use one of these brushes just because it's a bit softer. We've got, of course, this white um, background and I want to vintage this up a bit. So I'm just going to go over with this makeup brush. This was just a cheap set that I got from um, Amazon many years ago. So that's what that looks like um, on the back. Um, that's made a massive, massive difference. And what I was thinking for this one here was that I might be able to use um, this embellishment that I made um, a little while earlier and just use this to decorate maybe the side. I like it on the left hand side and I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac just to glue that down. Um, of course, I've got my um, postage stamps in the middle, so I want to avoid um, the glue seeping through underneath. But because I've got those stamps, I think we should be fine. And I'm just going to go really light, light handed. It doesn't have to go all the way to the edge because I like um, some dimension on my pieces. That should be OK. Whoops. And let's just pop that on. And I think that makes um, a really nice textured um, embellishment. So for this one here, I'm just going to leave it as it is and I can either glue it down or use it as a bit of a tip in. Um, for these two here, I want to add some, um, some linen and I've got this piece of burlap here, which I'm going to cut in half because this is just a little bit too wide. So I'm just going to cut carefully down the middle, being as straight as I can. And then I'm just going to fray the edges. So just take a couple couple of strands away. It doesn't have to be completely um, even. Do the same on this side here as well. Here we are, that will do, that will do fine. Maybe one more off this side. And then we can just pop these threads. Let me just get rid of these, um, these bits and bits and bobs, fold that um, in half and pop this, pop this through. And I think that's, that's enough to add to the tops of, um, of these. I think color wise that, um, that goes well. And we've got that grunginess. I like how that looks. Let's do the same with um, with this one here. Pop, pop this through. Oh, hang on. Let's find the um, opening and just just bring that bring that through. I think those are just um, just lovely. Another great addition to our junk journals. And then for my final idea, I've got some of these um, old vintage Kodak um, films. These were sent to me by my friend Olmert Olsen. And for anybody who's interested, she has got some amazing videos on her YouTube channel showing ideas for using these. I'll link her channel in the description box below because um, she shares some um, amazing ideas. Now, I've decided I want to use three these three sets of stamps here. We've got these gorgeous Czechoslovakian ones and I just absolutely love the designs um, of these. I'm going to use this one that's um, on top if it um, fits. But what I'm thinking is that I can just have this um, inside. 
I've brought the camera down a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. Now you could add some acetate um, onto these if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try and glue my postage stamp down just because I want the matte texture. Um, I like that look better. And so all I'm going to do is just add a tiny bit of art glitter glue just around the outside of my, my frame. And I'm trying to go really gentle with this. I don't want to flood it with too much glue. So there we are. And then I'm going to have to be careful about this because I need to line my postage stamp, oops, my postage stamp up. So let's see if I can um, do this. There we are. Isn't that just cool? Now, mine started to come apart and that's OK. It doesn't matter because we're going to stick this together um, anyway. Let's just burnish, burnish that down and then we can add some glue around here as well. This art glitter glue is so, so strong. It will bond more or less instantly as well. So this is plenty strong enough to hold this together. So how did that go? Where was the other one that, um, that I had? So, right, okay, so we want that bit on this end here. And I'm just going to glue, glue these together and I could do with weighting that down underneath a heavy a heavy book. I love how cute that looks. And then I just love this car design in this one here, this bag here. And I think again that this is going to be the perfect size. Let's have a look and see whether that will fit. I love those vintage cars. So yep, I'm going to stick that one on there. I'll do that off camera. And then I'm thinking as well that I can have a bird design. So, you know, as long as you've got postage stamps that are the right kind of size, um, you can do any design you like. I would quite like to have Malawi um, in there. And so I'm going to glue that one on there like that. I might need to trim just a tad off the, off the bottom. I've just decided to glue some more postage stamps onto the back of these to finish these off. So I found another one of these vintage um, cars, um, another Czechoslovakian stamp, I love that, and another bird stamp. So that's what those look like. And then finally, all I want to do is just um, add just a little eyelet in the corner here, just so that I can hang these onto um, my journals. So I'm just going to punch a hole in each corner like so. And this one here as well. And then add some little um, eyelets just to finish them off, just to make them look nicer. So we'll squeeze these down in the same way that we did um, with the tags squeeze these um, down. You see that looks so much nicer I think and then I need to find some um, eye bulb, um, light bulb, eye bulb, light bulb pins um, just to go in the corners just so that I can dangle these from my journal. So let me go downstairs and um, grab the little package that Linda sent me and see if we can find some that, um, that work. And I'm just going to use these brass coloured ones because these go well with the little eyelets. So I shall just grab three of these. Linda, I'm certainly getting my money's worth out of this. This was such a wonderful Happy Mail gift. It was so handy and useful. And all I'm going to do is just um, pop these on like this. And then I can hang these when I'm ready onto the side of a journal. So here we go, that's those ones there. And let me just turn them over so that you can see what these look like on the back. Such easy makes, but I just think these are wonderful. Turn them back over again. Oh, Olmet, if you're watching, thank you so much for sending me um, these Kodak um, little cards. 
So just a quick recap um, on the projects I've made today. So of course, these last ones here, I love these. I think those are gorgeous. Um, of course, the little pieces of ephemera that I made on fabric from the rub-on postage stamps. These are so much fun to use. Um, of course, the little ephemera that I made from my postage stamp masterboard that I'd photocopied. Just a reminder as well, again, um, that, you know, this is OK to do for your own personal use, but you would not be able to use these to sell um, in journals. Um, but, you know, these are just so much fun. That's what these look like on the back. And that's what um, the tops look like. Love those. Um, of course, the first piece of ephemera that I made, I love this. I love how grungy it is. Um, real vintage piece, 1952. I like that um, a lot. And then, of course, this piece that I made from the Your Creative Studio um, ephemera pack with this little post-it um, note. And again, some more of the um, vintage um, style rub-ons. I also want to remind you about the ephemera I made last week using postage stamps. So this was one of the little miniature cards I got from Budapest. Um, of course, I sewed in some acetate and filled it with vintage um, postage stamps. And this was the envelope it came with. Um, I made three of these and oh my goodness me, you know, we could hear Toby underneath the table earlier, which I thought he was chewing a piece of cardboard. One of these had fallen on the floor and he's eaten it, the little rascal. So there we go. We're now down to two of these. I'm so sad about that. But, you know, what can you do? What can you say? Well, I'm leaving today's video here for today, but I hope this has given you some ideas and inspiration for using postage stamps. And please, everybody, just share as many different ideas using postage stamps in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium, as you can. Um, as I've said, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group in the description box below for anybody who's interested in following along. So if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.